Hello, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are around the world, and, and a huge welcome to today's postgrad insight session. This is also the final edition of 2022, and what better way to finish it off with a study in Europe session with IMT Nord. Now, um, IMT Nord's main campus is in Lille, which is in North France. However, it is very, very central in Europe, many close to many different countries. So they will touch upon that in just a moment. So just a reminder that today's session is a live session. If you have any questions or you have any concerns or issues around any applications or any concerns that you might have around about the courses or about accommodation or anything else linked to today's session, please use the chat facility or the Q&A facility at the top of your screen. We will have a live Q&A at the very end of this presentation from Nord. So if you have any questions, put it in there. We'll try and get around to your questions as quickly as possible. Uh, just a quick reminder of what today's session will entail. We will have a presentation from IMT. We'll have details of a £500 bursary that students from anywhere around the world can apply for. Um, and reasons why postgrad.com, which many of you will be aware of what we do, and why it is the best website to go through to study your PG, or to look for your PG studies. Now, um, without hanging around any further, I'd like to hand you over to Virginie Saudiel um, from IMT Nord Europe. Like I said, they're based in North France, but from here on in, Virginie will be taking you through a presentation and I will be back for the live Q&A at the end. Virginie, over to yourself. Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. Um, so I'm Virginie Sado from uh, IMT in our Europe. I'm going to start the presentation with intro, uh, by introducing my colleagues. So to, today with me, I have Mr. Muhammadou Amar, uh, who is the head teacher of the um, master's program in civil engineering, which is called uh, Advanced Design and Management of Durable Constructions. Then I have uh, Jacques Bonnard, who is also the head teacher of uh, an MSc uh, master's program that we're going to introduce today, which is the master program in design and management of the industry 4.0. And my last uh, um, not colleague, but uh, is a student, uh, he's called Jonas Escudero, coming from Spain, uh, he's in master two year uh, in the master's program in eco design and advanced composite structures so they will be with me today introducing the programs uh, but i will start uh, by introducing the school so like gareth said uh, where we are located in the heart of europe uh, a little bit like uh, great britain let's say but uh, more on the continent uh, because we're in France and uh, after the presentation of my colleagues uh, and uh, of uh, Jonas on the programs I will come back to you with uh, discussing a little bit on um, the environment here uh, at the school so the facilities and also some uh, information about scholarship opportunities because I know it's uh, usually one of your uh, favorite questions uh, because of course you you look for our fundings uh, to come study in Europe in France and in our school so let's start so like you can see here, we are located north of France. Uh, it's really close to Brussels. You can join Brussels in 30 minutes, Paris uh, in one hour, London in one hour and a half. So uh, really at the earth of Western Europe. Um, Lille uh, is the um, is a, is a metropolis, a big metropolis. And we have a campus there, but we also have a campus in Douai, which is 20 minutes from Lille, more in the in the countryside, let's say. And there it's where the, all the master's programs uh, take place. So all the courses are given on uh, the Douai campuses where you also have our facilities. So like student residences, restaurants and, uh, and so on. So, if you look online, you, you should on Google Maps, you should look for Douai. So about our school, um, IMT Nord Europe is a school of engineering. Uh, it's how we call it in France. It's not a university, it's, a, it's really a school. Uh, so we have over 2,200 students located on different campuses. Um, and each year, more than 600 of them will graduate. We, are, we offer different uh, um, diplomas, so master's program, uh, general engineering program, uh, apprenticeship program, so 
other programs, but the only one that are taught in English are the free master's program we are going to uh, introduce to you today. We have also a network of uh, alumni, so like graduate students, over 15,000 of them, which is a really good network to, for example, find an internship or your first job uh, uh, after graduation. Uh, our school has also accreditation to award PhD degrees. So um, this is also interesting if you are looking for uh, uh, like an institution where you will be able to continue after a master program with a, a PhD program. Uh, and it's it just an information, but for example, in 2021, 20 theses have been defended. Uh, we have uh, over 120 teachers and researchers on our campuses, like really um, also in our research center, so conducting research uh, in over 20 square meter uh, of uh, research centers. We have an incubator, which is a place where you will be supported and guided uh, as an entrepreneur if you have a project. We also have a fab lab if you have an idea and you want to give it shape. Uh, and also a learning center on each campus. We have like a multimedia a library. We are a member of the Institute in Telecom Group. I'm not sure you have heard about it if you are not from Europe or not from France, but it's the number one group of engineering and uh, management schools in France. So you can visit their website. Uh, you will see a lot of information about the, the, the how would you say, the, the, the um, yeah, the, the power, yeah, the power of the group uh, and what it can bring you in the future if you have a diploma from from uh, from one of the schools. And also we have a strategic partnership with the University of Lille. So most of all for the the um, doctoral schools, but also for two of the master's program we are going to introduce today. Two of them are co-accredited with the uh, University of Lille. So. Um, like I said, we're going to introduce the English taught master's program we offer uh, at IMT Nor Europe. So um, there are all of them uh, two year master's degrees. You, if you want to join the program, you will have to start with master one and then con continue for master two. Uh, and all of them are divided in four semesters. The first one will really be focusing on an engineering program. So depending on the program you join, you will uh, today have some more details about the content. Uh, the second semester is really a, a specificity of what we offer at IMT Nor Europe. It will always be a business and communication uh, a semester at IMT Business School. So I will go more in depth on the program you will study there. Uh, you will study there, but um, yeah, it's really the target here of our master's programs are to uh, uh, develop um, different kinds of uh, profiles. So uh, managers, um, uh, leaders, uh, engineers, researchers. So then uh, all the students who will join us will be able to have a, a large uh, choice of a uh, career perspective, but uh, my colleagues will uh, will explain that to you more in depth uh, regarding their programs. The third semester, the, so the students, they come back to, to Douai, uh, north of France, to, to study. And the fourth semester, like for, um, let's say, all of the master's programs is a, a master thesis, so internship, paid internship. Because in, in France, you, you get a, a stipend when you do an internship. So um, joining IMT Nord Europe will be also an immersion in, in, into our, our culture, the French culture. Um, I believe you, you know a lot of um, what we can offer in France, like good food. And um, I might discuss about you after in the Q&A q and a session about the the food here and the the weather and the good condition and the, the nice economy and environment uh, for your studies and uh, you also have the opportunity during the the master's program i at imt nor europe to uh, get introduced to research so if you are thinking about okay what i will do after maybe start working or uh, uh, maybe co uh, continue on with my studies, with a PhD. So um, 
a program at IMT Nor Europe will uh, give you some uh, um, some uh, uh, I, I don't know how to say, but uh, it will it will show you what it can be uh, to conduct some research. So maybe it can help you in your decision for the future. And like I said, a semester in a business school, so it's south of Paris. Uh, so you will be located there for one semester. So to start uh, with the three programs, my my colleague and uh, so the head teacher of the program, Muhammadu Amar. For the so please, Muhammadu, I let I give you the the microphone. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Virginie. Uh, hello to all viewers. Uh, my name is uh, Muhammadu Amar. I'm doctor and uh, assistant professor here at IMT Now Europe. Uh, I'm the head teacher of uh, this program, Advanced Design and Management of Durable Construction, that we call ADMOD. So my talk today will take uh, will last about five to 10 minutes and uh, will be divided in two parts, mainly uh, the objectives of, uh, uh, of this program and the course content. So before I move on to the, to the course objectives, uh, I would like to put a context uh, because I think that many of you have already uh, heard about uh, climate urgency, uh, about uh, also the impact of the construction sector uh, on the environment. Uh, so that's why uh, we think that it's uh, important to develop materials, to develop methods that will that would lower the impact of the construction sector on the environment and also learn how to design durable construction. So that makes sense because uh, here at Douai, we have teams and labs that uh, are mainly working on material studies and uh, formulation and material characterization. We are also working on waste management, waste treatment, and uh, also on durability of structures, uh, concrete durability, and, and, and any other materials, uh, building materials. Uh, so the research object objectives we have in, in here uh, at DOE is also to find innovative solutions and techniques uh, that will help uh, engineers, civil engineers, and the construction sector to build the better. Uh, also, uh, on specifically on waste management uh, and reuse sector, we are developing tre treatment methods that uh, help to, uh, to improve the material properties and uh, material performance. So we are also working on circular economy, so reusing materials, and that way we want to use resources, natural resources uh, to, to build. Uh, we have also in here our the teams uh, that we that are here in Douai uh, are uh, doing teaching, so we are lecturers also and uh, interacting uh, a lot with students joining uh, our school and our program. We, you, the students will also have the, the opportunity to participate to our research project and participate also in developing new kinds of materials. So, so the main objectives, as I said earlier, is to find and uh, learn uh, efficient methods and techniques that will in fact lower the carbon footprint of construction sector and also build uh, more durable structures. To, to achieve that objective, we need to, to, to use innovation and uh, also sustainability. Uh, so the, all, all the methods, um, uh, research methods or industry uh, or methods used in industry uh, to, to to build um, better materials, I would say, uh, you, you you will the students joining the program will have the opportunity to, to learn about it. Also, they will learn about designing structures uh, using materials like steel, concrete, wooden, uh, for example, wooden wooden structures. Uh, also, we will have at least uh, six month uh, research project, so two months the first year and format the second year uh, that will um, that uh, that will uh, be for the students the opportunity to lead entirely research projects 
so initiation the first year and and go to a deeper or, or more complex project the second year. Uh, so at the end of the program, we do think that students will be able to have all engineering basics needed. So uh, now I have uh, uh, I have um, described the main objectives. Uh, let me let let's move to the course content. We have mainly uh, four course uh blocks i i, I would say uh, we will be working on building materials learning how to design uh how to do diagnosis of structures or repairing of structures we will be also working on data uh for example uh data related to smart home or beam uh, which is building information modeling so we will use all the power for all the power uh, available in data um, and use it in the right way for, for construction. So in terms of research initiation, we will have, uh, the student will have uh, the first year uh, research initiation project and the second year uh, scientific uh, projects. Uh, also the, um, the course content, um, in the course content, we have construction site uh, and company visit that will, uh, help the students to interact directly with companies and understand how how they work. So the teaching staff is uh, in the in the teaching staff we have the assistant professor and researcher in the our in which is in our in uh, in IMT Law Earth. We have also uh, professionals coming from industry or companies that will also uh, will be uh, lecturer in in some in some classes. In some courses, so it's it's really in, uh, interesting to uh, to mix to have to have that mix and uh, have interaction uh, for the students uh, with the with the researcher sometimes and with the fish professional in the, the other time. So for the four semesters we have the first in the first semester uh, we will have mainly at the beginning. Uh, course related to materials. So how to develop binders, how to develop low carbon uh, concrete, for example, how to use uh, admixtures, also about uh, soils, physics, and geology. Uh, so the second month will be moving to designing structures, uh, mainly metal frame structures, reinforced, reinforced uh, concrete structures. Uh, we'll be learning about your etc. et cetera. Then we, we move to data uh, so for uh, beam and smart home and then starts the research project uh, that will be led in the first year and uh, in the first month in the, in the month number number three in, the six, in this month so uh, month number three and month number four that ends this semester so in the in the last month of this semester we will have also the the uh, courses related to construction technology and company company visits. So in the second semester, uh, as explained by my colleague Virginie, you will be moving to Paris for for the business semester. And then we will be, you will be back, students will be back to Douai and uh, we'll have the opportunity to deepen uh, their knowledge in materials in designing. So we will start by advanced design and data analysis, so, uh, uh, which advanced level. Also, we will be going uh, once more on concrete and low carbon uh, materials. So uh, and also studying the durability of structures. Uh, we will also learn about uh, management and but related to construction. And um, at, the, at the last month, we'll uh, learn about durable, durable construction and techniques that are used for diagnosis or repairing structures. So along uh, throughout all this semester, you will have the st students will have the scientific and technical project, so which will be a complex project that, that they will lead and try to find uh, or solve a specific problem. So in the last semester, uh, the last semester is dedicated to the final internship, which will be a six-month internship. 
that will be that could be uh, done in a company or in the lab. Uh, so we recommend people that uh, would like to do research after the program to do it in the lab or uh, and and uh, people students that would like to go to the to to the work market uh, and work just right after the the right after the diploma to to, to choose doing it in a in a company so to to summarize uh, we are mainly working on building material uh, and we are providing uh, skills and knowledge about how to manage how to lead uh, a complex project a complex construction project we'll also provide any uh, knowledge related to designing building structures or modeling using a lot of software uh, we are also using innovation in our research, for example, and in the research project that uh, students will, uh, on which uh, students will participate. Uh, we will also, students will also learn about how to apply an engineering approach uh, and apply it to, uh, to, 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 to projects. Uh, also, any socioeconomic aspects or eco-responsible uh, aspects will be included and also understand how to develop or understand or organize uh, research uh, or on building materials or construction materials. So in terms of perspective of career, uh, we may say that people uh, joining our program at the end of our, uh, our program will be able to work as business manager, for example, or director of design and studies, production or operation director, service project director, or work director, depending on the on, on your level of experience. So uh, you will be able to participate in developing, in developing construction projects, driving business growth, for example, or uh, be part of very important construction project as uh, an engineer, for example, uh, or also working uh, hand in hand with uh, project teams. Uh, so we do believe that you will have all the skills needed uh, to, to achieve this goal. And we are wrapping all our energy uh, to, to, to do so and to, to help you uh going to to this direction so if you are more interested in research you could in research you could also uh, be working as an, an r and d uh, engineer in company for example or do a phd uh, and then be uh, an assistant professor uh later so it should be something uh possible also so I think that uh, here comes the end of my presentation. Uh, so if anything it was not clear, feel free to ask a question and hope uh, to see you soon. So I'm Jonas Escudero. I'm an industrial design engineer from Barcelona. And actually, like nowadays, I'm pursuing the MSc Eco Design and Advanced Composite Structures here in IMT. And before entering into details of the master, I would just like give a brief explanation of what's a composite. Composites are a mix in between two different materials. One is a um, resin, also called matrix, and a fiber, also called reinforcement, that when combined, they behave differently. They have new properties, normally properties that we cannot find in the original materials. So currently in uh, IMT, we have a large group of researchers, PhDs, and post-PhD students, and so on, that focus their work on bio-based composites. So as I said before, natural fibers and bio-based resins in order to contribute to the development of recyclable materials and to propose also recycling solutions by controlling the processes and the power quality of the high-performance materials. So to give you an example, for example, um, in an um, actual car nowadays, we could have like parts made out of aluminium. Instead of, we can be optimizing that part by implementing a new composite. So that way we'll be reducing the overall weight of the car. And at the same time, we will be reducing, of course, the consumption of the 
fuel or the energy we need for that um, transport in that case. And this way we'll be creating a eco, eco design or a eco product. That's the main objective of um, composite nowadays. So why IMT for me? Mm, I would say like Popcom. We did describe Popcom as a technical platform, both for optimization um, of composites and for the processes of them. It's a, it's a way of bringing together the expertise of the members of the institution I said before and the large workshop they have in a, in in house they have like uh, different um, manufacturing devices as um, protrusion uh, devices as injection um, devices or machines and many more um, that we can use for composite manufacturing that also we before doing the um, the testing and the parts itself we model it and we simulate in order to optimize those parts and to take the most out of it. And at the same time, we create like calculation clusters to, um, um, to, to find the best materials as well as um, characterize the materials and the components to observe and to obtain their mechanical, their physical and their chemical properties. So broadly speaking, the main objectives of the core will be like, getting in touch with innovation so bringing solutions to modern challenges um, learning and knowing how to apply process and materials so controlling the environmental impacts and life cycle of materials the well-known ecological transition and finally to be able to design those parts so to develop complex parts that we can incorporate with different functions and with a uh, far bond limits in design therefore you will gain knowledge and you'll be skilled in composite manufacturing, which is like their components, the structure, specificities, as well as to learn the, the properties from, from raw, from uh, what's the polymerization, what are different states, um, how can we treat and understand different materials, which kind of materials um, will be behaving in which way. And that will get you, that will make you to be able to choose correctly the manufacturing process, let's say, regarding to the book of requirements that you will all also learn how to do to, to be prepared to play a key role in industry. Likewise, in just like saying in big groups, in the, the, the MSc, the master will be divided in learning about materials and manufacturing process. That means learning about composites and their markets, learning what are smart and advanced composites and where and how we can apply them obviously their processes and at the same time this master is not only a theoretical master so it's also a practical master so you'll be involved in different lab sessions and in different projects that you will carry on you will have an innovative project and also a research project where you will be able to apply all your um, knowledge and at the same time you'll have a close relation with all the teachers the phds the post phds and also even the phd students to not only exchange your knowledge but also to make them help you with your projects and therefore be able to, to grow faster that way. So also the other big group would be eco design, as I said before, to just to prepare these composite parts for the new um, challenges that we're going to face in the industry. Mm, sustainability is the, big, the biggest one, but we also have other challenges um, regarding um, our, our automation and regarding uh, aerospace and regarding many types of um, transport, but also like um, sports equipment. And some of the examples um, of the companies related with this master would be like Decathlon, as in self, that is like the high speed trains in uh, France, Safran, that is a well-known uh, company that not only creates and manufacture composites, but also assess different companies to take the most out of their business, like to optimize their processes, to 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 do it better one of their main stakeholders is like airbus and and bosk for example so um, seeing in more detail um the course as the other two courses it's structured in four semester in the first year you just gain a general overview of what's in a composite from the structure and characterization of materials to learn numerical denies design which means like finite element uh, analysis of um, composite parts and to understand um, where a part, um, wh where we can find defects in a part and how can we understand that data to improve that part. 
the innovation project I said before, in my case, I did a uh, orthopedic um, part for the hip and for the knee to in improve the transpiration of the actual ones, and as well, um, characterization of polymers and composites. So not only from the fibers, but also from the resins and how to, how to mix the knowledge in, on both of them to create the best composite somehow. Also, I have to say that um, the school gives you the option. Well, it's not doesn't give you the option. It's mandatory to have French courses. And this way, you can improve faster your French. I came here without um, speaking French. And nowadays, I can maintain a normal conversation. So I think that's a must. And also, they give you the opportunity to, to play different sports. You have different activities every day. And you can choose um, wherever you want. But this one is optional. So you don't have to go for it. In the second semester, um, you will do the business school uh, part. So it's just like, a, let's say, a fast MBA. You'll learn, you will go deep in case studies, you will learn about negotiation, you will learn about international business. And I would say it's really nice because uh, in Douai, you find different people with a different mindset. And in there, you have like um, a mixed variety of people because the campus is not only the IMT campus, but also the Telecom Sud Paris campus. And, um, it gives you the opportunity to learn from other students, not only from engineering, but also from business and other domains. So in the second year, you will get a deep dive in composites. And that means not only in the materials as the year before, but also in the mathematical and the laws behind infinite element analysis on uh, how to how the machines are working, how you can improve that, how you can understand the whole value chains to adapt different parts of the chain to improve the end value. And as I said before, also you will make a research project. In my case, I tested the adhesion in between uh, 3D printed um, techniques through composites, and that would nowadays they are not exhibiting some functions in the history in the industry, but that's also the case, like finding a way to implement that in technology. And also, you will, as I said, um, you will get in deeper into process modeling in uh, numerical methods and also in composite sandwich structures very used in uh, aerospace and in automotive. And also, again, uh, complementary activities as a uh, French mandatory French courses and the sports. And at the end of this year, um, you will have the option to choose in between a final year project in an internship. So it would be like the first step in the industry. It's like in entering the industry or um, do a master thesis that will help you to go for a um, research work or get more into investigation or even um, apply for a PhD. So with that course, you would be able to enter um, I also said it, but like automotive and railway industry, aerospace, sports, equipments, let's say every industry where you want to improve, to optimize the materials in order to reduce weight and gain material um, properties, mechanical properties. And the main roles you will, you will be able to do in there would be like design manager, director manager, uh, development and project manager, or PhD students, as I said before. Also with the knowledge you learn, you could be also taking part of um, some strategical uh, functions related with uh, composite fields. And well, to sum up, I would say that I really enjoyed that program because um, it gave me the opportunity to deep dive in a technical um, and international community. And yeah, I would say, I. I I develop my skills in a very demanding uh, industry nowadays, and that's a must for me. Thank you. Oh, sorry, because I experienced some uh, problem with my internet connection, so I will keep my camera off. So my name is Jacques Bonin. I will present you the, the program named Design and Management of the Industry 4.0. Um, OK. Uh, just to give you some details about the, the department uh, which I, I belong to. Uh, so I'm working for the department called the uh, Department of Digital Systems. And uh, in this department, we have many uh, fields of research, but we have mainly focused on uh, communication uh, systems, uh, also dealing with the Internet of Things. We also have a, a 
big background regarding artificial intelligence and also machine learning. And we are also conducting some research activities which are based on uh, system automation and control. And these fields of research, as you will see, are applied to the program that we propose to you. Uh, regarding our research objectives, uh, we are interested in developing an uh, autonomous resilience system, uh, which are maybe system which are um, able to adapt to the environment, but also capable of being uh, resilient to, to different changes in, inside their environment. Uh, we also try to develop some uh, model for digital simulation. Um, we try also to to define new uh, new algorithm for machine learning and decision making problem in order to, to provide a uh, better interaction with uh, digital systems and uh, regarding system modelization of control um, we are experiencing some uh, new approaches uh, which are dealing with uh, multi-agent systems and as maybe the, the same situation as far what we what was proposed before uh, who daily work consists in teaching and interacting with uh, engineering students, as well as driving research projects on new concepts and systems, as I described to you. And we also try to have a very uh, deep uh, relationship, very constant relationship with uh, industrials and some many other academic partners. Uh, well, uh, regarding the academic and uh, professional objectives of uh, I think we are losing the connection again. So uh, I might synthesize in case Jacques is not coming back. So in terms of uh, objectives, um, here you can you can see that um, this master's program, which is a, a new uh, master's programs uh, master program, sorry, uh, will um, help you learn how to manage industrial production and logistics. Uh, while being innovative, efficient, sustainable, you can see that like innovation, uh, efficiency, sustainability is really at the earth of uh, what we uh, build uh, in terms of uh, content in our program. So uh, that's really um, the objectives uh, also for the master. And which is maybe more interesting for you is the course details so that uh, if you are um, stu currently studying uh, industrial engineering, for example, it will, uh, be more um uh, it will be more uh, uh, it will speak to you uh, so you will study production management logistics uh, intelligent transportation systems with uh, um, so some of the uh, the teachers on site or from IMT North Europe and also uh, external uh, teachers coming from other universities uh, who will uh, give class uh, on our campuses. Uh, also systems automation with industrial automated systems, autom automotive systems and model predict predictive control. Uh, then another block will be machine learning and mobile robotics uh, with softwares and architectures for mobile robotics, machine learning and advanced data analysis. And uh, you will, like in uh, the other two master's program, you will have a, a research project to, uh, to conduct. So you will be... Um, um, uh, um, drive by uh, the the teaching staff, uh, such as, uh, uh, for example, uh, Jacques, so ex who are experts in their field and uh, uh, who are also authors of uh, a lot of uh, high ranking publications and books, uh, such as all the, uh, the teachers we have uh, on our campus. So here you can see, so I will just uh, go quickly on, on the, the course content that you can also ask us, uh, we can send it to you by email. So you can see all the, um, the courses you will have in this, uh, in this program. So third semester again, so again, more in depth on, on each topic. Uh, so just uh, give you some, some, information on, on the program but I, I will be able to send it to you and also you will be able to contact Jack or myself for more information or also uh, maybe a, a direct interview 
Uh, in terms of knowledge and skills, so that's the main uh, skills you will uh, develop. So on system automation, production management, and also um, autonomous and intelligent systems, that's really what the, the master's program is uh, focusing on. And in terms of uh, career perspectives, um, you can, here is just an example of what you can do, uh, like Muhammadu and Jonas said earlier, uh, you have a, a large uh, variety of uh, job opportunities after your study uh, at IMT in our Europe, so you can uh, maybe aim to become a production manager, an industrial project director, uh, a developer, an engineer, um, or continue on a PhD uh, if you if you uh, prefer. Um, so yeah, I think that's it for for this master program. I will just come back on the uh, even if Jonas uh, gave a lot of details about the the program at uh, the business school, so the second semester. Um, but here I, I put all the all the topics that are uh, studied uh, at IMT Business School. So IMT Business School is located uh, south of uh, Paris Metropolis. So it's uh, around 50 minutes by uh, train, so direct train uh, to the, um, the city center of, uh, of Paris. And uh, it's a really big campus. Uh, maybe uh, Jonas will uh, answer some questions about that, but uh, uh, you have everything on the campus. It's like a small town in the city of Evry, which is uh, where is the campus located. You have also the housing facilities. Uh, you have uh, like uh, pitches, you have a gym, uh, everything to, to, to enjoy your student life. And that's the courses you will study there. So finance, uh, digital intelligence, personal development, communication skills. You will participate in a, oh, sorry for the structures, uh, in a business plan challenge. Uh, you will study international business, supply chain, logistics, uh, HR, um, and global information and international marketing. Again, you will have French classes, so you will see that the program, uh, the, the French for foreigner uh, program is along the three semesters, so you will have the continuity of the courses. Uh, so as a beginner, the idea is that at the end of your uh, third semester, you will be able to have a, you, you will be able to conduct a, like a, uh, to have a, a conversation in French with colleagues, for example, and maybe work in an international environment, but also with a, a French discussion with your colleagues. But uh, uh, that's, that's the, the objective, let's say, for, for this course. And, um, and so that's it. That's what you will study in, uh, in, in IMT Business School. And like I said, the idea for... Our programs is that we develop a commercial profiles, a manager profile, and engineer profile. So everything in one. Regarding application, because I think uh, there is already some questions about that from Emmanuel and Isaiah. So what you need to to have uh, as a diploma to apply. So you need to hold a bachelor's degree. So in engineering, science, technology, you need to have a, a bachelor's degree or equivalent, depending on uh, where you, you live. So feel free to contact me um, if you want um, to know if you are eligible. Because the idea, for example, uh, Emmanuel said he has a mathematic uh, degree. Uh, then it will also depend on what you have been studying exactly, so your program. So, for example, also Isaiah has a chemical engineering uh, uh, degree. So what are the courses you have been studying? Uh, and then our head teacher will check and tell you, okay, it's worth it uh, to apply because I think you, uh, they will think you have a, a good profile. So, but we can already answer you about that regarding your CV and the, the course content you have been uh, studying. So you also need, the second thing is a B2 level in English. So you need to be fluent. Uh, you will need a, a test to, to confirm that you are at the good level. So if you are, if you are not a native speaker, of course, 
so that's the two basic requirements we will uh, need. And then just for an information, so the tuition fees are uh, 18,000 euro for the two years, so 9,000 9, euro per year. Regarding application, the deadline is June, so we have plenty of time. Uh, and each year, the session will start in September. Here, you can download the application form to have more information about what are the documents you will need to send us. And uh, whenever you, we will receive the application, uh, you will be uh, asked uh, to participate to an interview with the head teacher of the program, and usually it will be myself. Uh, so to know more about your motivation, because the admission will be based on your uh, academic background and also your motivations to join the program and join our school. Regarding the life here in France, uh, just to give you an idea, of course, now uh, life is getting a little bit more expensive in the last few months. Uh, there is there has been an increase, but uh, for our student residences, it it didn't it did not change. Uh, it's more like electricity, things like that. Of course, that are are gonna increase, but um, normally it should be around th these prices. Uh, so 350 euro for a, a, a room in our student residence in uh, Douai and the food like uh, to, to eat there is a, a price which is 325 per meal so you can you, you can expect uh, some expenses around 700 euro per month uh, and on site we have laundry machines uh, uh, so mini soccer pitch, gym, internet. So uh, in Douai, you will also have everything. So like I said, in Evry, in Paris, for IMT Business School, you also have a lot of facilities. But uh, so it's really like campuses where you have everything. It's not all the time like that, but uh, in, at IMT North Europe is like that. <laughs> So regarding scholarships, uh, just a quick information, I will strongly advise you to contact your campus friends agency in your country because they are the best people to, con to, to contact, uh, to get advices from regarding uh, fundings and uh, scholarship opportunities for your nationality, for your country. Um, so that's the first advice. Then of course, there is a, a program uh, called Ex uh, FL Excellence Program, which is um, uh, the French government offering uh, scholarships for really good uh, candidates. So you need to have a, an excellent uh, academic, uh, uh, so excellent academic results. Uh, you can contact us uh, if you want uh, us to to let you know if you could be eligible for that. But uh, again, do not hesitate to contact uh, your campus France agency. So here, the contact details. So that's my phone number. You can WhatsApp me or send me an email. And uh, also, if today we didn't answer all your questions or if maybe you're looking for uh, another kind of programs, if you speak French, if uh, you look for a PhD opportunity, uh, for an internship, for for an advice on uh, on something just uh, yeah you can you can contact me contact us uh, we will be pleased to to answer you so thank you let's uh, Gareth let's continue with the q and a we've had quite a few questions come in we had a few questions come in before the session began as well so um i want to start from where you kind of finished really just talking about the, the campuses you got, obviously in Lille, you've got one in, was it south of Paris? Um, so not far away from Paris, certainly. <laughs> um, because of the, the central location and the nature of where you are located, in particular in Lille, um, what is the culture there like for international students? Does it give you a very cosmopolitan feel? Does it feel like different cultures in one city? because of where you're based? So uh, I will start the answer and then maybe I will ask Jonas to, to test him, to, yeah, to give his testimony. Uh, yeah. So just to, to really explain, so IMT North Europe uh, has uh, a lot of campuses. Uh, for the master's program, for these master's programs, uh, the main campus is in Douai. 
in Douai, so 20 minutes from Lille. Uh, and that's where the students will have all the engineering classes the, um, and also where they will be able to live because we have student residences. Then the school offers other programs uh, that might be located on other campuses. So the campuses will be in Lille Metropolis, in uh, uh, other, other cities in the north of France called Valenciennes, Dunkerque, so Alençon, so other other cities but today is not really the the topics and the students uh, of the masters won't have to go there the only place they will have to go apart from Douai uh, will be Evry so south of Paris on another school campus which is uh, IMT business school they have a, a campus in Evry and that's where they will really go for one semester from like uh, February to uh, end of June, July. Uh, they will go and have class there with other students from other, uh, so from their programs, so MBAs, uh, other masters like uh, economic masters and uh, uh, artificial intelligence masters, so really about uh, communication management masters. So that's uh, that's it. And for uh, the cosmopolitan life, so uh, in France we have a lot of students coming, a lot of uh, nationalities, and in Douai, so where the students, and in Evry, where the student will really live his uh, experience at IMT or Europe, uh, we have students coming from a lot of countries uh, and maybe Jonas if you are here uh, you can explain that um, yeah there are a lot of cultures and also when you went to Paris for your second semester last year uh, you met a lot of uh, a lot of students from everywhere yeah well I would say in here too I met a lot of people with different like a lot of international people I have like a really close relation from with a guy from Niger a guy from um, Hyderabad, which is in India, a girl from the USA. Um, I would say both in uh, IMT, No Europe, like in Douai and in uh, Evry, in the business school, you have this uh, international feeling and you can exchange not only cultures. I'm, I'm a curry master right now. I mean, for real, my curry is crazy. And it's not only about that, it's about Mm, you learn about mm, different cultures, but not only in um, not only in the social way, but also in a more uh, professional way. So that's where it takes place in uh, every because, as I said, it's not only mixing with different um, in not with international people. It's mixing with people with different domains. Uh, wh what I said is about the mindset. It's like people in here have um, some goals in the life. They're focusing in this way. And um, for me, the opportunity in every was not only to learn about um, financial and business um, stuff, but also to, to see different type of mentalities. And just to um, add more things, I would say, yeah, Lille is a, it's a crazy location. It's key because you're 45 minutes. Well, it's one hour and a half, but without, with the time difference, you are like one hour from London. Um, two weeks before I went to Belgium, tickets to Belgium is like 15 euros. Uh, one month before I was in Amsterdam, Amsterdam takes like less than two hours and it's also like like the possibilities to travel are huge and I think it's on you to find the right colleagues to have a good life but it's always it's always there the opportunity so if you want to be in your home and resident your home no matter where you are you can be in Queensland you could be in uh, London or it's the same but if you want to travel if you want to learn yeah, there's the opportunity. And I think that's a fantastic thing from not only IMT No Europe, but also from Evry. And just to finish, uh, I love the time in Evry because you said 50, 50 minutes. It's normally 50 minutes because it's called RERB. That's the line going from Evry to uh, Paris. And uh, this line doesn't work properly, let's say, very well. But if you if you catch the good train, it's in 30 minutes. Uh, and Paris Direct is- Direct trains, yeah. Okay. If you're interested in culture, you have L'Orangerie, you have Louvre, you have many museums, Fondation Louis Vuitton. You can get in touch in depth in um, French culture. I love gastronomy and I discovered many things. So uh, for me, it's not only the knowledge I explained before from the master, but also all the exchange in between cultures, gastronomy, points of view. Uh, every day we have the good thing. Sorry, I said finish, but I'm finishing now. <laughs> the good thing also from... Uh, I am Tino Europe here in Douai is that the city doesn't offer plenty of cultural activities. You have like three or four um, things to do in here, 
but that's not a problem because half an hour you have Lille and you have plenty of things to do there. As I said, you can travel to many other places, but the, the good part of that is that every day you meet people in the canton. So it's very easy to um, have a close relation with people. Like in, in um, now I'm in my room, in this side I have Gio, in the other side I have Abdallah, in the next room I had Nada. I know everyone in my flat. So that's not only about networking, but also about personal growth, I think somehow, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Gary, just to conclude, so of course, because you study in France, you are going to learn about the French culture, but like Jeanne said, it's really the cosmopolitan life of, uh, of a, a school, so you will meet everyone, you will be able to uh, discuss with people in other programs, so here in the school or when they go to Paris, because they come from everywhere, and yeah. uh, thanks to our location, you can easily move. Of course, he's studying a lot. So Jonas is a good student, but uh, when you when you are well organized, you can really uh, benefit from your location. Uh, and uh, if you meet the right people, you can do plenty of things. And and uh, yeah, because right now we are talking with people with, uh, coming from really all over the world if, yeah. if they come from belgium and listening to us today they are going to think okay i don't want to come visit belgium i'm, I'm from belgium but uh, uh, if we think about people from uh, um, uh, africa or south america or asia of course if you come here it's a great place to to uh, to visit <laughs> excellent and, <laughs> to and can i ask about the um you mentioned the english language requirement level is um b2 uh, which is pretty standard across the yes. board now. But what about, I mean, somebody was asking this earlier on, actually. Um, what about if your French isn't up to speed? Um, there'd be a lot of people that learning one language could be hard enough, never mind two. Um, <laughs> is there a, a requirement for French speaking? And if your French isn't very good, is there tuition opportunities? So it's it's funny because uh, at the, at first we said okay uh, French is not a requirement because all the courses are given in English uh, we provide uh, French lessons uh, for the students so uh, no we don't uh, require anything we have beginners so the first year when we launched the master we had uh, most of the students uh, were speaking French. Uh, and then <laughs> this year, for example, no one is speaking French. So okay. um, no, no, the idea is we make everything for the student to be able to come here just uh, being make, maybe a, a, an English native speaker or just a, like an Indian student will only speak English, not French. Usually Indian students, they really don't speak French. And even after one year and a half, it's still a little bit difficult uh, because it's difficult to learn a second language. So we just ask them to to be able to to speak English uh, as a with a B two level, which is like you said is is not too complicated, but still you need to be able to understand a, a course in English. And B two level usually uh, gives you this opportunity. Like for me, for example, I think I have only a B two level. I can speak with uh, my English, uh, I can understand the questions, but of course it's not perfect, but uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah he, that, that's the idea. We, like Jonas said, we, we are gonna meet people from all over the world. So we need to be able to communicate and it's in this kind of uh, yeah. mindset. So B2 level is the minimum uh, and is enough, uh, and, is and, enough. And, and, and most importantly, like you mentioned, uh, Jonas mentioned earlier and you've mentioned already, you're not alone. You know, there's going to be people no, exactly. from yeah. all over the world coming and to your campuses. Something important, Gareth, is uh, something really I want to point out is we are a school of engineering. It's really, I think it's really French, but in a school of engineering, you hear about school and school means this kind of uh, follow up. So the teachers uh, like Mohamedou, like Jack, like Milen, which is uh, the head teacher of the third program uh, who could not be here today and has been replaced by Jonas with uh, my, my pleasure. But um, they will be the correspondents. So they will be uh, available like all the teachers, like all the staff at the school. We are available for the students to uh, help him so with his administrative steps or with uh, uh, his um, professional um, 
project personal or uh, for example Jonas when he joined the school he had a project like uh, he has a company project he has ideas and Milan was so the head teacher of the program uh, was listening to his uh, uh, will so that's that's the relationship you will have uh, in in a school like ours which usually is not what you would have in a university that's that's important and yeah, that's the main difference, I think, and that's one of our assets. Yeah, of course. And can we talk about? Um, there's two more questions about the application process. Mm -hmm. You mentioned it earlier on about um, the screen that you had with everything related to opportunities for funding and everything else. Um, how long can they expect the process to take? So, if you're from, um, let's say, Nigeria or Kenya, um, and you're looking to study, how long from when they go? I've hit the apply button to actually enrolling onto the position. Does that take? And, and what are the objections in the way? So it depends on them. Yeah. <laughs> no, I explained. So the first thing, usually they, they send me some questions. So from the moment they send me the, the, um, the application form filled in, there is a 60 euro uh, application fee. I forgot to uh, write it on the email, but it's uh, on the email, on the presentation, but it's all written on, on the form. So whenever the application form is complete, I receive it uh, usually in one or two days, uh, I, 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 I checked it and we send the, the candidate some, some dates for an interview. So it can be the next week, the next days. Uh, usually it's quite quick. Uh, within one or two weeks, the, 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 the student will know if he is admitted to the program. Uh, it's not like we don't wait months to answer. Uh, it takes a few hours, few days just to uh, get the interview date. And then after the interview, you one day and uh, the student receive the decision uh, so it's really quick then uh, that's really about the admission because then to register to the school uh, it can take a few more months because it will be to the student to uh, go to the next step which is like to pay the first uh, um, the first um, part of the tuition fees uh, a small amount of the the yearly tuition fees so uh, from november we already have students who were admitted to the school this year not because i've just came back from maternity leave so it didn't really start but last year in september or in august we already had students for the next year so yeah it's quite quick uh it's just about okay. uh having everything ready uh and being available for the interview that's and that was going to be my final question um the intake dates for you guys uh, when are they how many intakes do you have or does it matter uh september okay so Every one intake year, a year is yeah. that one? Each year, uh, beginning of September, uh, starts the program. So, uh, yeah, so early September, uh, students will arrive end of August, usually a few days before uh, to, to settle down and get ready. Uh, and uh, that's why the admission, we go until June, uh, sometimes also July to uh, give an answer for the admission to the program, because, you know, with the visa procedure, a lot of the students will come from uh, outside Europe and they will need a visa. So just keep in mind that to ask your visa, you need some weeks uh, and maybe months uh, to, get, uh, to get it. So usually the earlier you apply, the best it is. But that's... Uh... Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your time, Virginia. I really appreciate it. And, and everyone else watching the uh, session today, you know, huge thank you to all those panelists in the background, Mahamadu, uh, Jacques and Jonas as well for giving up your time today. Huge thank you. Um, and we look forward to seeing you hopefully next year. But um, if anyone's got any questions, any concerns, any issues um, during this presentation, there was an email address with Virginie's details on there. Um, we will reach out to you after the session. But for now, a huge thank you. And we look forward to seeing you soon.